Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Motherwood here and a long-awaited fish tank update video. Uh, firstly, excuse the background noise if you hear anything. This, this is the only time I can do it. But as you can see, it's all going well and it's kind of the same. It's kind of been the reason why there's not too many update videos that kind of happen because it's uh, just all going so well. Once again, I can't, I can't say this is um, a bad thing. It's been great to look after. It's been clean. I think what you're seeing now is it's uh, if I clean it this Sunday, it'll be two weeks since I've cleaned it, and it's not messy at all. I know some people say goldfish are messy, but maybe with the open bottom, all the um, the poo and stuff just goes straight onto the the uh, the inlet outlet I guess that's out yeah I guess it goes straight up onto the outlet and gets sucked up and and filtered filtered through but really yes everything is going well if I zoom in here there's Azura getting really big this is the biggest fish I've had ever and she's I say she it's uh <laughs> that's what it's been deemed by the family so yes yeah, she's doing really well eating eating like a horse um but happy to skip a meal every now and then when i work late and stuff like that these drips are just on the outside so yeah she's doing really great and looking really nice nice and healthy all the fins are up everything's going great so this black stuff you can see around the bottom that was from when i had the dirt in the tank i just can't get that off so i give it a scrub every now and then just to um stop any more building up but yeah, uh, what else has been happening? I changed to uh, different fish food. I was using this for, I was using Spectrum for a long time and, and it was really good. And the fish shop where I go now um, didn't have it. So I'm using Nutrifin Max Goldfish Sinking Pellets. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I just decant because I just decant it into here just because this is hard to uh, to dose out. So I just put it in there. So I give her a couple pinches every morning and night. So yeah, using that fish food now, the fish tank's staying clean. And yeah, no difference in uh, kind of color or anything like that. So all going really well. It's been pretty cold here in Queensland, Australia. So... I have had the heater turned on and it's turned to 24, but it doesn't really come on. I haven't seen the light on, so I guess she's doing all right in the colder weather as well. Uh, what else has kind of happened? The pump, just stay quiet. You might be able to hear it. It's, it gets getting noisy. Um, Probably the next time I pull it apart, it will probably be the last time it goes back together. But uh, it's hanging in there. It's a little bit noisier now yeah, for some reason. Yes, I think it might just be in a bad spot. I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of losing its losing its pump. I saw this kind of exact model, I think, on Gumtree, a second-hand dealer ship type thing in uh, in Australia for sixty dollars. And I thought, you know what? That's a good price for a second-hand pump which might be better than mine so uh, maybe I'll, I'll keep an eye on that see if the price goes down but yeah that is the tank uh, all going well nothing bad to say plodding along weekly sometimes fortnightly water changes 25% and everything's great uh, filter in the top is just I'm um, just using straight up um, filter wool and we've got the Marine Pure, doing the bacteria in there as well. Everything's working perfectly. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this update. Yeah, once again, not too much. It's all going very well. So I recommend a bottomless tank, 30 liters, one fish, perfect. No, no worries. All right guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.